All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take an odds ratio from a chi-squared test. Normally, they're, they're found in logistic regression models, but you can also find an odds ratio in a chi-squared test. So let me show you how that works. First of all, we're going to look at two variables, depression, categorical, dichotomous, and the two levels are depressed or not depressed, and therapy, one is CBT, one is yoga. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this thing. We go to, let me get this down so you can see it. We go to analyze, descriptives, cross tabs, and oh, look at that. Depressed and therapy already there. And let's click some boxes here. Nothing from exact statistics. We want the chi squared test, the fee and the Kramer's V. Click continue. Cells, we want the observed. And the expected, observed, is the default. And percentages, eh, you, you really don't need them, but let's put them in there anyway. Row percentages, column percentages. I always look at the residual, uh, standardized residuals that tells you where, if there is an association, it kind of tells you where it is. And I think that's all we need to do. Click continue. Click OK. So here's the output. And right here. So let me switch over. Hold on a second. All right. So there it is. All right. So what we're going to do is an odds ratio basically is the odds of something happening from a dichotomous outcome, right? A yes or no, live or die, heads or tails, divided by the odds of something not happening, right? So it's it's the... It's the odds of having a true outcome divided by the odds of having a false outcome. That's how it works in logistic regression. And it's basically the same mathematics here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the odds ratio of people who are depressed or not and which kind of therapy they're using, CBT and yoga. It's best if I just show you what we're going to do here. So we're going to look at the odds ratio. It's two separate odds ratios, right? So CBT for depressed, we're going to we're going to create that ob, uh, that odds ratio using the data here, and then we're going to make another one for CBT not depressed. And again, we're going to use this data, but the CBT for depressed. So that's this first rows up here. This is the depressed group right here. And what we do is we Take the number of depressed with CBT, that's 37, divided by the number of depressed using yoga, and that's 71. Those numbers right there. We simply turn that into a fraction and turn that into a decimal. Boom. So it looks to me like um, the depressed people that use CBT are half as many, roughly, as the depressed people that use yoga. So in other words, more, more depressed people are using yoga. Hmm, not a good sign. So now we're going to do the other one. And by other one, I simply mean the not depressed group. So it works just like the one above. We're going to go ahead and look at the CBT for the not depressed. That's this group right here. So that means we're going to be using these two numbers, right? CBT was 103. Yoga was 84. So we're going to put the number of not depressed using CBT. That's the top number, 103. And the bottom number is going to be 84. We're going to turn that into a decimal of 1.23. Okay. So now we have the two different odds ratios here. Now we got to make a ratio out of the ratios. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to calculate the final odds ratio. And it looks like this. It's going to be the odds for depressed with CBT and then the odds for the not depressed with yoga. Okay, that's what these two are the representing here. So basically, we're just going to divide these two numbers. Try to keep that in mind. That's what helps me the best is the numbers here. We're going to divide 0.52 by 1.23 and we're going to come up with a 0.42. That is the odds ratio. What this means is that the people who had the CBT therapy, that's, that's the numerator up here, right, are 0.42 or like 42% less likely to be depressed than those people who practice yoga. 
So that's what it means in a nutshell. I hope this helps. Uh, and again, odds ratio and chi squared is kind of rare, but some teachers will insist on them. Uh, but that's it. MGZ out.